guys, thanks for joining me. This is your tarot reading for Saturday the 26th of November. Let's have a look at what's coming up today. Okay, so it seems that the question today is one of love and romance and relationship. And the question seems to be, am I still in love with this person? Is it going to work out? Or is it always going to be this difficult? Am I always going to be the one who has to take care of him or her? I always have to make things better if we have a fight or an argument. I have to reach out and say, you know, I spoke in error or I'm really sorry about that. Am I always going to be the one kind of taming the beast? And am I always going to be the holy one, the responsible one, the one that has to be eternally good? Or is this a relationship that if I keep playing this role of caretaker, of nurturer, of giver, is it actually going to work out? Is my beast going to turn into a beauty? Are we going to end up getting married and being happy and really spending a wonderful life together? So those are good questions. And ultimately, the guidance that I'm getting is if you're in a role, this eternity sign is there for a reason. That is something that becomes kind of ingrained and i would say the exception to the rule is that this beast becomes this wonderful prince charming and everything's rosy and hunky dory what usually happens is that the roles become more ingrained it's like on old vinyl records you know the grooves in the in the vinyl become more entrenched and things get stuck and repeat and repeat and repeat and it's much more likely that if you're always doing all the apologizing and the caring and the being nice and the the placating and all of that stuff, then it's very likely that that's what the future will look like as well. So look at the landscape of your relationship, look at the roles that you're playing. And if this if pattern has been established for a long time now, then don't be overly expectant of some sort of miraculous change. It's very likely that the the, the pattern that you're in is going to stay as it is. I just want to pull one final card on this. Okay. And that card is the Seven of Swords in reverse. You're not being selfish if you make a decision for yourself, you know. If you're saying, oh my God, I'm always picking up the tab. I'm always picking up the pieces. I'm always doing all the work. And if you become fed up with that, that is not selfish. You're not wrong for wanting a relationship that also nurtures you. So I think this is a wake up call for a lot of people who are really being unappreciated today or who are being taken for granted. It's really up to you to say, listen, I am calming you down every day of your life. I'm going to take a day for myself as well. And, you know, if you don't want to make any permanent changes, then at least you're entitled to a couple of hours or even a day or two where you just say, okay, I'm going to look after my own needs as well. Charity does begin at home. And if you're doing all the um, legwork in the relationship, then it's really, really important that you, you look after yourself as well. Number wise, we've got two and four is six. And what's this? Eight. Is it six, seven, eight? Yep. Eight and six is 14. And then we've got the seven there, which is 21. Two and one is three. And three in numerology is about expression. So speak your mind a little bit, either by taking action for yourself or by addressing a problem if there is a problem. Um, and really assert yourself in the sense that, you know, if you're being taken for granted, then you may have to interrupt that whole process and do something for yourself or um, make it very, very clear that this isn't the way it's going to be. This is not the permanent, infinite state of affairs that you would like. And that's fair enough as well. You know, if you have got into a pattern and you're seeing that pattern early and you're catching it early, maybe it's time now to interrupt that pattern before it becomes really entrenched. And if, if someone's taking advantage of you and say, well, it's been like this for the last couple of months, but just so you're aware, this isn't me anymore. I'm not going to do this. FYI, <laughs> you've been notified. So I think that's really helpful because we do have to communicate with our partners. 
uh, we can't expect them to read our minds and I think that's a really healthy way forward. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me about your relationships or your finance, your career, anything at all, then please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe and I'll speak to you tomorrow.